Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Stogie Geek Show, episode number 22. We've got some unbanded. We've got a what you've been smoking that is going to rock your world. Two weeks worth of cigars that we've been smoking. We're drinking all kinds of good stuff. We'll go through that as well. Uh, the unbanded will be revealed at the end of the show. Quickly, I want to go around and introduce everyone so we can get started talking about the cigars that we are smoking. Sitting right across from me is none other than the one, the only, Stokey Santa. Yes, good evening. He's in the house. Of course, Mr. Ben is here with us tonight as well. Welcome, Ben, to the show. Thank you. Glad to be here. And coming to us, coming to us live via the Skype, that is Mr. Tim Muggerini. Welcome, Tim. Hey, how's it going? Fortunately, we couldn't get Tim's video working. We've got uh, the tubes are clogged today. You know, Twitter actually experienced problems today where Twitter was down. Wow. Couldn't get to Twitter. Couldn't even go to Twitter.com. And I think what happened was everyone else was more productive doing actual real work and bogged the internet down. There so, you go. Um, Tim is not on video as a result, but is with us via audio to present um, the, of course, outstanding show we've got planned for you this evening or whenever you happen to be listening to it. I uh, just want to make a couple of quick notes about what we're drinking. Tim, what are you drinking? Uh, this is called a South Side. Um, got the recipe actually. I, I'm sorry, Tim, you're, you're um, breaking up there. Hold gin, on. Ginger beer, mint with some lemon. I'm sorry, can you, Albo, can you hear me now? Yeah, can you just start start over? Yeah, sure. It's uh, gin. It, it, no. Gin. Be sounds like it sounds like you're on a cell phone from like 1997. <laughs> <laughs> we got I, oh, I, yeah, bet. <laughs> one more time. Me, no, can you hear me now? Yes, yes. All right, so it's called a self side. There we it's go. Gin, ginger beer, lemon, and mint. Excellent. Um, the unbanded. Oh, uh, so we're also drinking a Shantashan classic, which I'm holding up for the camera. Mm-hmm. This is twenty six dollars a bottle, and of all of the kind of uh, scotch and whiskey in that price range that I've sampled, this is my favorite. There were probably mm-hmm. at least three or four that I sampled recently, based on uh, Mr. Dennis Joyle's recommendation. This was the clear winner, so I bought oh, another bottle today. Very, very, very good. It's uh, it's kind of light. I think it goes well with cigars. Yep. Um, you put a little drop of water in it is what we're doing mm-hmm. as well. Um, the Unbanded was sent to us by uh, Stogie Geeks listener Adam, a.k.a. ATL on Brothers of the Leaf. Thank you very much, Adam. I am truly Absolutely. honored to be smoking Unbanded because it really means that someone, I mean, they spent the time. time. We've Absolutely. got an envelope. We've got bags with the individual pockets. They're labeled. <clears throat> spent the time to do all that and then really wants to know what we think of the cigar, which is, mm-hmm. to me, that's an honor. That's so. it. Thank you. Now, you much. guys are going to try to do both tonight, or? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, we're just, I... we're, we smoke them, right? Smoke them <laughs> if you got them. Smoke them if you got them, and we got them, and we're going to smoke them. So this one, uh, for me, uh, Stogie said, I want you to tell us, because um, I think right. what you said definitely I ex- uh, am experiencing the same thing. Yeah, right. It's right off the bat, I got a nice, nice, nice touch of spice. Nice cedar, quiet it down. Now I'm, I'm going into a nice little earthy flavor to it. And right now, the tons and tons of smoke. Like Poor going, smoke. Oh, pouring smoke. By the time I go through my nose, the, the smoke is coming right, right out of this cigar. Oh, this is a, a really a Corona size. I want to say Corona it's a Gorda six, six. That's a six. So that's not no, a five no, and a no, half. No, no, that's a six. That's a six by forty-two. Forty. I would say more like a I don't know about forty-two, maybe forty-six. So, okay, never 46. mind, we'll leave that yeah. alone. <laughs> yeah, 42 to 46, yeah, I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Um, and again, pouring smoke, I got, um, nice oily smelled wrapper. like manure, yep, yep, oily wrapper, and this is cigar number one, mm-hmm. and then we'll transition into cigar number two. Like I said, no. when we're done with cigar number one, we'll do the reveal for cigar number one, and then at the end, we'll do the reveal for cigar number two, because I can't wait that long to know what I've been smoking. What do you think about this cigar so far, Ben? Any other... Uh, just to add to uh, what what you guys just said, I, I think the construction is very good on the cigar. It's uh, triple capped. Um, it it it's not loose. Um, you know when you're uh, putting it between your fingers, plenty of tobacco. The ash is holding on. I, I've been trying to flick it off, uh, and it's been holding on mainstay. Ash is not flaky. Yeah, wait till I get to it. And it falls on me. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Now, do you I, do you want to play the Cuban non Cuban game? Because it's a dangerous game to play. Because we've really been we were really on, wrong. Yeah. 
Not Cuban. Not Cuban. I'm thinking not Cuban would be my guess. Stogie Sandy, you want to weigh in or you want to wait? Um, Are you going to wait? I'm not going to. Uh, I, I'm going to go with this saying uh, a non-Cuban. Okay. Now, Tim, um, you're not smoking the Unbanded because uh, you couldn't make it here tonight, which is okay. But you're smoking something uh, uh, pretty fabulous over there. Why don't you tell the listeners uh, what you're smoking, your initial thoughts? Yeah, I'm smoking the uh, Little Monsters, Little Frank. Um, it's been resting in my humidor for a week now. Um, Stokey Santa, are these, um, were these broadleaf wrappers from this? Yes, that's, that's my understanding. Okay, I mean, this screams broadleaf. It's yeah. got the typical broadleaf flavors. It opened mm-hmm. up strong. Yeah. Um, lots of cocoa, a little spice, yeah. really earthy. Uh, I'm loving it, man. Mm-hmm. It's porn smoke, great mm-hmm. flavors. Um, about halfway through the first third, hasn't yeah. changed up yet. But um, I'm hoping the rest of the box is, you know, as good. I'm really enjoying this that, stick. That's going to be an interesting statement. We'll see. Yeah, um, I never smoked the original Frank. I don't know about you guys. I that have was not, the best. That, I have that's not, phenomenal. I have not smoked anything mm. but the um, uh, the face and the Wolfman. Yeah, the, I the, the, the no. face me. And the Boris, which was I, okay. Yeah, I thought okay. that was uh, yeah. Well, you know, you no know one happens. It's just that you got to be really uh, open minded because what happens with Pete? He's put up on such a pedestal, and rightfully so. It's just that I, I'm, I, would I buy it? Oh, absolutely. But I didn't get into the hype as everybody thought it was. The Frank, to me, humbly, is his best of all the monster st- series that he put out by now, far. Now, the Frank was the first, correct? Correct. Okay. So I decided to go in order with this box, mm-hmm. and this is what I'm planning to do. So what is the order? To put you on the spot, Stogie Santa, what is the order that they came out with? What do you mean? With Halloween releases from Pete Johnson. Um, I remember the the Frank, Frank and then Boris, then what's the... Uh, Drac? Drac. 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 Yep. And then he went with the face. Yep. And then, then the, Wolfman. Uh, the Wolfman. Gotcha. Right. And then the mummy is the new yeah, one. Yeah, right. Exactly. Gotcha. All the little, the little minis. Or the little so, mummy. The little yeah, mini little, mummy. There's right. a mini mummy. The baby, <laughs> and the baby, baby mummy. Yeah, yeah, baby mummy. You, know, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, just to give everybody a little bit of backdrop of they don't have it yet. The Little Monsters were just released this month, and it's basically all five releases, including The Mummy, right. even though The Mummy hasn't been released yet. Right. Um, two of each in the box, box of 10 $75, all in a smaller size. And, um, they, and they come with cards, like, yes. tr- like and trading cards. Yeah, they got now, Pete Johnson card in there now also. I, now, I got my box, and I used the card. Only cards. the first 5,000 boxes. Right. Now, I used the card to light my cigars. Is that not how, what you were supposed to do with it? Uh, oh, <laughs> oh that, I can hear him now. <laughs> I thought uh, that was the point. I mean, if you give me devil. like, if you give me something that catches fire with my box, I'm going to use it to light it, right? Like the cedar that comes. Yeah. I just love all the hype behind it. Like, uh, they come out of Miami. People buying and, twenty boxes. Yeah, they come yeah. out of Miami, and only so many boxes. Oh. oh, they weren't supposed to get out, and they went to California. It just what a brilliant man. Very smart. Everything he does is turns to gold. Good I tell you right now. I tell you right now, there's people in the forums trading cigars for the cards. So, yeah, I, that's, that's, I mentioned it. Yes, I, I bring that. It's a great point. There are people who are non smokers who are buying these sets just for the cards. Wow. Is that that's that's insane? Pretty telling. Yeah. It, 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 we're anyway. from the Willows. Oh, anyway. Hi, on to what yeah. we've been smoking. That's all I got to say. Mm-hmm. Um, Honestly, I. All right. Um, so, tops on my list Opus X Lost City Robusto. Mm-hmm. And I have to say that. When I look at my list and I had to pick a winner, I don't know. This is pretty damn, this is pretty close. I'll reserve it for the end after I talk about all the cigars. This is pretty close. I had outstanding, fabulous, wonderful smoke, some opus leather with hints of sweetness, not overpowering, smooth, loved everything about it except the $28.50 price tag. (laughs) Yes. I mean, even for me, I mean, I I will spend $30. Forty dollars on a cigar. Mm-hmm. I've been known to do that. No, I, but it, this one just. <laughs> what was it, the uh, estimated uh, age on that cigar? Uh, this came right out of the box. Right out of the box. Right I, of the I box. think it's. Right? They were just. They were just released out to. Yeah, yeah. They just, just came recently. into the shop a month, not even a month, maybe two weeks ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I agree. I know you smoke the same cigar. So yeah, the same and, I, and I got a little toffee sweetness to it. I, I, I agree. Um, Every, you have some cigar smokers out there say you can't put price on it. Well, I kind of disagree with that. Um, it 
it's one. With tax and everything, you call it a $30 smoke. Yeah. It is, you know, yeah. It's a $30 smoke, and I guess I can put together – uh, I, I should not. It's a great smoke, but it's just a pricey, pricey. I, I, I just it's don't pricey. get it. I don't get it. But anyway, that's me. If it was like if it was good for you, I mean, if it was fourteen. So I mean, if you look at the regular Opus X line, it's about half as much as what they're getting right, for the exactly. Lost City. Now I have to tell you, I, I mean, right out of the box, hands down, the Lost City wins yes. without oh, question. That, that's two as far as smokes. being a better cigar. Right. Um, but it's twice as much. I'll tell it you, does have some of that opus kind of leathery yeah. component to it, so there is an op- a hint of opus yeah. flavors. Oh, in there. there's no doubt. But I'll tell you what: would you? I'll put you on the spot right now. Would you take? Um, that'd be well three. Not well, give a take with the price. Three of the Fuente, 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 or would you rather go with the twenty? Oh yeah, I'd go with three Fuente, Fuente yeah, Corona that's size. Exactly, yeah, the yeah, Corona, and yeah. that, that's fresh out of the box. Now, you smoked the Fuente, Fuente yes. Corona Opus X, oh, fresh man. out of the box. Yeah. Isn't that a great smoke? And, um, and the transition on that cigar, not the nuances were still young yet, but the, the, the strength, it was just went from your first third was mild. He's like, yeah. wow, this yeah. is an Opus? Are you kidding me? Now, I the had one with a... third was... Oh, I couldn't put it down. Yeah. Couldn't now, I down. had a, a, a... This is the Fuente, Fuente Opus X, which is known as the Corona size. Right. I had one where the first third was so overpoweringly strong, I couldn't even finish it. Like, it instantly, <laughs> Stoke's hand just ashed on itself. I, I'm, I'm embarrassed that I couldn't finish it. Like, it, now, it was, Paul, it's funny you say that, because I've smoked the Fuente Fuente at least three or four times, and that's the experience I had. It was just too strong I, for me. Isn't that now, I, now, I've it's smoked... The age them, I've smoked, goes I've, opposite. Yeah, I've had them with your experience, Stogie Santa, where... It, it was just fantastic. Oh, I loved it. And I, then I've also had them where the first third was just so overpoweringly strong that it takes away from the smoking experience. Really? So you don't really want to finish it. I, I just, yeah. you know, I, ha- I had that experience. And I usually don't with Opus, but I did with this one. Wow. And, and this wasn't one of the new ones. This is one I had in my humidor for a year. Yeah, it, it just, I just can't see that. I, I've never seen a cigar go stronger. Like, I mean, that much light and day. Like I said, the first third, everyone... And, well, everyone concedes that the Opus, what are they afraid of right off the bat? Strength. Yeah. And I was yep. just the opposite. I'm saying, wow, this, I, I, I had to look at the label. This is an Opus? I mean, mm. wow, uh, really good. And then uh, I was on a, <laughs> there we go. All right, Paul. <laughs> he just asked himself. <laughs> but, so he said it was looking right at me board. talking yeah. to him. Yeah, but anyway, back to the Young Bandit here. Um, uh, I'll tell you something. It, it's, it's a decent little cigar starting to... Um, change a little bit and I, the strength I find this a little bit picks up here maybe not quite halfway but starting to flat out a little bit flattening all the, uh, What's the that? taste on, on, on bandit number one yeah I'm getting yeah I uh, well it, it kind of picked up in flavor I got a, a stronger kind of woodsy earthy mm-hmm. almost flavor mm-hmm. and then uh, you're, you're right now it's kind of it's mellowing out a little yeah. bit yeah. Oh, but I'm telling you, the construction like Ben was mentioning on the wrapper uh, it's it just it's it's impeccable on on the construction, and I don't care what a cigar looks like. It, it, this is right now the construction is impeccable, impeccable. I, I would I am enjoying it tremendously, nice. and again, is uh, there part of that. Left over for me here. What's, what's that, that, Tim? Is there left over for me? No, we're gonna smoke them all. <laughs> no, of no, no. I've got one left over for you, Tim. Yeah, for each for each one, cigar number one and number two. Um, I tell you, it reminds me a little bit of Jalapa, but I'm probably far because off. it well because it's burning and smoking so well. It, it's adding to the smoking experience. Oh, it is. It's Absolutely. just it's a wonderful oh, smoke. Absolutely, yeah. Tim, why don't you go ahead with uh, one of the, the tops on your list? Next. Yeah, sure thing. Uh, first thing on my list, my father, Lee Bijou, 1922, mm-hmm. uh, Connecticut. This is the federal cigar, which is New House blend. Um, I kind of waited on these for a while. Mm-hmm. I got them in a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to let them rest because I literally got them as they were coming off the truck. Um, it's basically Lee Baju with a Ecuadorian Connecticut shade wrapper. Um, completely changed the smoke. Um, I smoked both the 44 by 6.5 Cervantes and the uh, Critical this week. Um, both fantastic. Mm-hmm. There's some serious lag on uh, Tim's connection there. Mm-hmm. To, to, just to add to that, I think Tim was right. I think once that keeps aging, it's going to get better and better. I found that uh, Tim was dead on. Uh, Can you hear me okay? You, there we go. Now we do. We, you fell out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you, you're kind of fading in now. We'll work around it. It's cool. Nope. We lost him again. We lost him again. Can you go closer see what I can do? Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yep. That's a little better. 
Um, you, Paul, I'm to fix this. Yeah, Tim, if we, if, if we move on, just we'll, we'll come back to you. All right. Okay, oh, keep going, uh, Tim. You can... but, uh, so, yeah, I mean, I love the smoke. Um, I think uh, I'm leaning more towards the Cervantes a little bit um, on the size. Did you guys get a Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I, Tim, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I think you made a great point. I ne- it needs time to, to yeah. balance the whole cigar out. I think this, looking ahead, this, this cigar is it's going to be a box-worthy cigar in my mind. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, I agree. I think um, I smoked one right straight off when it came in, mm-hmm. and it was a little bit bad. Even two weeks have done this. has got a lot of good now. Mm-hmm. So I think, you know, a couple months, definitely oh. box worthy. Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt. I smoked uh, an Elogio Habano Corona. I thought it was just okay. It had some nice flavors up front. I detected a little bit of uh, bitterness in the middle in the second half. Uh, I definitely want to revisit it. I would call this a fiver. It was not as good as the LSV uh, in the Corona size, which I thought was much better. But again, I only smoked one of each. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's definitely something where I would order a fiver of each to try again. I mean, they were that they were that good, um, and everyone else is speaking very highly of them. Uh, they just got rated um, in some cigar publication. I don't remember which. Um, no, I mean, not, you know, say what you will about ratings, yeah. but uh, they're getting fabulous reviews. Again, I detected that little bit of bitterness, which uh, I, I wasn't quite a fan of. But they smoked well enough and different enough uh, that I would recommend getting a fiver of each mm-hmm. and oh. smoking through them. Yep. So I don't know if some age may smooth some of that out. Oh, but, there's, there's no doubt. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. Uh, did we cover a low show in the last one, too? I think we did. I, I was not here. Well, you know. smoked the uh, LSV, I think, the last time. Yeah, right? and this one I just smoked the Habano. Now, you guys like the Habano better, though. Yeah, I, 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 me and Timmy seem to agree on that, Tim. I, I just enjoy that smoke immensely. Paul, though, are you sure which one you smoked, man? Because I know we, you and I went back and forth to chat a couple times. The last oh, that Habano time. was a killer. Killer. So I, the Habano had um, a yellow-ish band with black writing and a black circle on it. I think they both have the same band, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I, the, not, I nothing that, was distinctive about it. I thought it. the LSV had the... The red color in the band. Uh, you know, so something. the Habano definitely has the red and green in it because I bought a whole box. And I still oh, maybe have I ha- you know what? Maybe I have them backwards. There you maybe go. I have them backwards. Yeah. The Habano you know, was the lighter wrapper. The LSV was the Maduro. I mean, both were solid smokes in my book. Oh, uh, oh, they were, but the Habano just stuck out. I thought like night and day. That's that's my opinion. I just I love agree. that. I'm still going to buy a five or a both. Yeah. Regardless of which one I said I liked better, I may even get confused. I still recommend people get a, at least a five or a both. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you. I wish I'd get the five of the La Aurora that you gave me. Oh. oh that, do you want to go? Let, let, uh, so let's talk, oh, talk about oh, that. So man. last week. It was, Unbelievable. Last week, I gifted every uh, Stogie Geeks member um, a bag of stuff that it could possibly be categorized as lawn mulch. Mm, oh, I got yeah. a lawn mulch for you. <laughs> and stuff that could possibly be categorized as Oasis. Oh. Um, and we were Oasis. always trading cigars and, you know, when we do, and a lot of people will bring them here to the, the, to the show and I, sometimes I do two shows in one night and I just, I don't, so I, I try and take the time at least once a month or every other month to put a package together for everyone. And uh, so... Stogie Santa got a uh, some nice stuff in his. Uh, oh yeah, his bag. And, and the La La Aurora. How many? How, what, what do you say age on that? One? I want to say those were from '08, and this was from the gift pack that I cannot find anymore. It's a gift pack of La Aurora Preferido Maduros mm-hmm. from the smallest size mm-hmm. all the way to the larger size, and I want to say there was four or five cigars inside of it. Nice. When I ordered it, it already had like two, at least two years of age. I want to say I bought it in 2010. They were dated like 2007 or 2008. So Stogie Santa got the smallest size. I think oh, I that was the best La Aurora I've, I've, I've ever smoked. The complexity of it, I had everything from toastiness. I had nuttiness in it. I had the, 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 the cocoa sweetness in that was just impeccable. And then what, what this completely blew my mind is the last two inches or three inches in a cigar, which was only what? A five-inch cigar to begin with. Mm-hmm. Not, I'll say the last inch and a half because I, I burnt my fingertips. I got this little subtle spice. I said, "What more can this thing do?" Yeah, I've never had a cigar have so many different flavors in it, and it's probably the most. Uh, at this point, I'm going to say it's my favorite cigar of the year. 
Wow. Really? Wow. wow. That's, I'm telling you. I am uh, so glad that I was able to give that to you. You have no idea what that um, means, really. Oh, you give me so many great smokes. <laughs> that, that, that was, I'm telling you. I truly just, achieved my goal with gifting that to you. I mean, even almond flip. It's just, I can go on and on. And, and I, not think I, it really? almond. Almond I think I smoked the last one. I think I smoked the last one. I smoked like, the oh, largest. Smoked the almond. That's I smoked the, I lar oh. the largest size in that mm -hmm. gift set, and it was. A wild ride, wasn't it? Was, it? You know, everything you up, yeah, and, up and, and uh, it's just like, what can it do? And the whole thing is, I'm down. I've, I, I should have took the picture of the, what I left on that smoke. It was like mm. this. I, I've never, never, and I, I enjoy. Right now, you put me on a spot for 2012, Cubans included. That that's wow. my cigar. Wow. Oh my, that's a strong cigar. It right is. There. It was. God. And I don't know where you find that size. Low uh, I've or never Maduro. seen it. Yeah. I, I'm going to tell you what I was. At first, I thought. I'm going to tell you what I thought you did. You thought I put a different band on? Yes, I did. I was did. it the size or was it the age? Do you oh, think? I it think both. it's both. It was both. It's just yeah. impeccable. Yeah. It's just it threw me for the wildest ride. And um, and the second part, it was funny. I said, "Let me try something completely different." So my long mulch of the year is that Vegas Five. The five Vegas. Uh, the five Vegas. Or they call oh, it Cinco Vegas. Cinco uh, shitty Vegas. Whatever it is, <laughs> it thing was. I, I, I tell is you it, what. Uh, I think it's AJ Fernandez that makes those for uh, yes. a lot of the online re yeah. retailers. What? I'm yeah. not doing it because it's online. Not because no, I'm no, not no, part no, of a B&M. No. 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 no, I've but, had some of those before. Oh, I, I just, <laughs> it, uh, it, it's, I, wouldn't even, I wouldn't even light it up when I'm on my lawnmower. Let alone yeah. lawnmower mulch. But again, I, I don't want to, you know, everyone... I hate that was to slam a, it anybody. Was a it was a large ring. Yes, like, like a, a Robusto Grande. Yeah, yeah like a five by fifty four. Yeah, five by fifty six. Cedar wrap. Cedar wrap. That's the only thing that tasted good. It was, was a, a, it was a cedar. Yeah, yeah come off the yeah. cigar because it wrapped in it. I you just chew on the, you oh, chew on the cedar. Exactly. I should have just put it back on the cigar <laughs> and lit it up again. So. I went from, it was like, it was, and that's what's fun about cigars. That's where you're going to yeah, learn. absolutely. And, and people, I'll tell you what, I was down at the, uh, the, the CI, the, uh, the one in uh, Pennsylvania, and mm. people love them. So who am I? But anyway, those two cigars. Some of the smaller sizes aren't, didn't lawn mulch necessarily. But, uh, but whatever. So anyway. And that cigar had some age on it too. Yeah. It had a couple of years I, I in my had it, it, yeah. it, it, it didn't do anything mm. for it. It just didn't. It, yeah. I'm sorry. It is what it is, but. Well, Tim, over on. over to you. Uh, you have a La Aurora on your list as well. Yeah, this is the Escogidos. Is that how you pronounce that? Escogidos. Escogidos. Never, never had that. So this is the one they used to only give out at the factory, <laughs> yep. and now yep. they're making more widely available. So wow. when you Paul, visited you the... to me, actually, as part of my bag. Correct. Mm. Yeah, they ah. used to only give it out when you visited the factory to yep. go on a tour. Um, yep. Now they're. Uh, I picked up a, a fiver for three dollars a, a stick. Okay, wow. Tim, how was it? Uh, for, I'll tell you what, for that price, man, I enjoyed it. Um, Mido medium in body, solid medium in strength. Um, I wrote it had a nice woody core with some sweetness and spice. Uh, had a Cameroon wrapper. Kind of that sweetness and spice that's associated with the Cameroon, you, you instantly recognize it. Um, mm, especially the sweetness. Yeah. Um, I say a fiver, possibly two or three. Um, not quite box worthy, but I definitely would smoke more of these. Yeah, that, that was pretty much my assessment of it as well. It, yeah. it, I mean, even if you take price off the table, I, I still think it's a solid cigar. I mean, it doesn't change up a lot, but it presents some really nice flavors. I, I would pay twice that. I mean, I'd pay yeah, absolutely. Of these. Yeah. Uh, solid smoke, so. Uh, I smoked Viaje TNT from 2011. Uh, cigar opened up nice, you know, had some nice cedar type flavors. Overall, it was just okay. I, I couldn't help but compare it to the original TNT, which was far, far better. I'm saying try one to kind of see for yourself. I mean, this isn't a strong offering from uh, Viaje or Andre Farkas. I'm sorry to say, but yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I was I just I just wasn't a big fan of, of yeah. this. And now okay. it's interesting because a lot of his other releases are like knock them out of the park, box worthy, and it and it just goes to show you that even from one manufacturer of even a cigar that I would rate as box with or even Oasis from the original TNT, the second release is maybe not even a fiver. So, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, I agree. Um, and this has the big, long pigtail cap, you know. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah. I wasn't overly impressed with it. No. It was a terrible cigar, but... Same yeah, thing I, I did so with better. the C4. Uh, I, I found that um, not a, a very mundane cigar. Yeah, even with a flat. I would yep, use the exactly. word flat. That yep. was a lot more flat than the TNT, but the TNT didn't have... I the mean, original the flavors, TNT was just... The original TNT same was... Same with the Summerfest. Yeah. 
Now, yeah. correct me if I'm wrong. He's re-releasing these any day now, yes. right? Yes. Yep. He's going to add that new Roman one. candle. Roman candle. Yeah. And then he's going to yes, and it, yeah, whatever. What do you What do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Because you, like I said, you don't know. Is the Roman candle going to come out? And is it going to be Roman candle is like nine inches long, isn't mm-hmm. it? Is it going to be not even a fiver, or is it going to be Oasis? Because that's where his cigars run the gamut between. And what's happening? Uh, he makes a great cigar here and there. People are just. It's falling out of flavor. There's just uh, flavor falling out of favor. Excuse me. It's just this. There's too much um, uh, gray area in between smokes. It really is. Like the shotgun shells, they were good, but they were wet when they first came out. I'm sorry. I had a. I, I when I first smoked mine, mm. I said I can't do it. I could taste it. I could taste the moisture. You could, yeah. It just wasn't where I wanted to be. Put it down. Rest it. A great smoke. Yeah. Very very good. Those smoke. are awesome. And I had. Now, would you say though, Stogie Santa, that he's doing better this year than he was last? Nah, I think it's, I think it's the same batting average. Right, it is. Okay. It's, it's. I just feel like the friends and family. Did, did anyone smoke that? I bought. That I got whack. one. Yeah, I only got that, one. I, yeah. that was the one that everyone said was like fantastic. Yeah, and I only got one, and I, I'm not smoking it yet. I don't know why. I, I'm, just, I, I'm leaving I got it a little, little more than one, but it, it just it. I, I, I I'm going to wait to the end of the summer, see what happens. Because you know one thing about Andre's cigars. When they first come out, like uh, there was the first jar release on the uh, Exclusivo, really good. Then I got the second one. I don't know what they called it. I first got it, and Walter, our friend Walter, we got a box, and um, I, I couldn't even put my finger on it, what it was. It was just strange, and I forgot all about it. I pulled out a year later, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. I, it hap- I mean, it happens not just. Now, this TNT. Yeah, the Exclusivo's yeah. But aged. Now, yeah. this TNT I smoked is almost a year old. Mm-hmm. It's not smoking any different because I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. I made a mistake and I got a box of those and it was the worst thing I did. Oh, really? I, oh, I, I traded those away. Yeah. Those are long gone. Yeah, yeah. It's the best thing I ever did. Uh, well, moving along. Uh, Don mm-hmm. Carlos Edicion de Envisario. Mm-hmm. Now, this is one I don't think I've ever seen where they released full boxes of these before. Is this one of the first? I can't really. I don't know. That's a yeah, great question. They haven't released these very often. No. I just got attacked by a bug. Yeah, I mean, it's over um, here back and forth. I think it's one yeah. of those uh, Vegas Five or Five Vegas It's, it's a Five bugs. Vegas Bugs. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's attacking us for saying yeah. bad things about it. Yeah, that's it. The, uh, so the Don, this Don Carlos Edicio de Anniversario is a fantastic smoke. It's a very, very, very thin wrapper. Mm-hmm. I mean, like tissue paper can't smoke is the way the I think weather. you described it. it. You have to be in a, a perfect environment to smoke them. Uh, it's a nice, easy smoke, wood flavors with some sweetness, very, very uh, definitive Fuente flavor profile. Like if you were to pick up any Fuente and kind of get that flavor profile, I mean, this really defines it. Uh, it was a great smoke. I, I, try one for yourself at the price range they're coming out in. <laughs> you're going back. I, I know you're I, going I, with you this. Can't, I, I know you're going with it. And you know me in price. Yeah, uh, it makes you know, no difference. Throw it out the window, yeah, yeah, right? Throw it out too. the window. It, Tim's the same way. Ben's the same way. We all feel the we same all, way. We all can take price off the... I mean, that's... I mean, I think something we really enjoy, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter anymore. Right. Uh, we're, cigar enthu- we're cigar enthusiasts, right? We're I enthusiastic agree. about it, so we can, we can overlook price. But <sighs> I don't know. I, so we'll come back to with respects to prices. You can buy a Padron, like the 80th oh. double torpedo, and that's thirty dollars. And that to me is like the benchmark. If you're going to pay around thirty dollars for a cigar, if you can't do better than that. You, then exactly, yeah. uh, exactly, exactly. I mean the same thing with the 45th, right? I mean twenty five dollars. I mean that you're in the twenty five to thirty dollar price range. You really have to wow me. And while this cigar came pretty close to wowing me. Nah, it just short. It, it, it came up short. Yeah, it that's did. my wife right. told me. Yeah, short. It came short. up. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I want to get back to our uh, unbanded. Yeah, I'm interested. Uh, far, okay, ben, yeah, I'm in the uh, middle. It's kind of flattened it out on me. Yeah, I, I, uh, not I, flat, but it's got a weird. I got a hay flavor to it. Yeah. Um. I'm. I'm. Oh, Adam. Oh it's. It's nothing real bad. Nothing real bad. Um. Uh. It's okay. It's okay. Um, I, I, when I smoke so it again, why I like smoking with uh, unbanded. Yeah, I, exactly. Because your palate is uh, is amazing, and, and hay is definitely no. That could be power of suggestion, yeah, yeah, certainly. No, no, but, no, but isn't it? Like I, dete- I did detect a change, but I couldn't quite place. I, I mean, is I, it a good hay or is it a bad? <laughs> what I think. Yeah, I, know, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah. It, it, no, what's happening would, to it? It's I got a hay, it and, it, and 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 what it's gone into it like a dryness to my palate. Mm. Okay, and then and, and and it's not that um, I know what you mean, Tim. It's not that real 
um, strawberry taste. It's not that at all, but it does have, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to redefine it. It's a, not as enjoyable as the first third. Oh, the, oh, and I'll and that's you, what I'll pick up on cigars. Bang. The first third was good. Second third got it not as enjoyable. And, and a lot of times and, that's and, all I can verbalize, right? And, 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 and you have the answer if it's a Cuban or not? Yeah. Uh, and if this is a Cuban, I'll tell you what, I got to go back to school. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no! I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be a white. I mean, if this is a Cuban, what you'll give us? Whatever you'll, you want. You'll, you'll you'll take your shirt off on yeah, camera. No, no, yeah. it's right. no, I, don't. <laughs> no, anybody, I, I don't want anyone shocked. Does anybody get any a hint of coffee on a cigar? I get a little. Co- I I get the hay. <laughs> I definitely get the hay, but I I'm getting like a, little, a couple of notes of coffee um, yeah. about a third way in. That no. uh, that no. uh, that hay flavor that you described is I would say is very prominent yeah. right now. And I, I can't. It's not I a can't. bad. It's, it's a. It's a. What, what I smoked. Yeah. I smoked this again with with when in a in a heartbeat. But but it just. I just love. I love the oilness of it. It, it really. It's almost like a Habano wrapper. But it's Interesting. not. Interesting. Tim, I'm enjoying my little Frank man. I'll tell you what. It hasn't changed up at all, and I'm fine with that mm-hmm. because typical broadleaf. If you like broadleaf, oh, you're you got that like little smoke. sweetness of it. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, uh, isn't it? That's one thing of, in, about uh, of all rappers for me in general. A uh, uh, Connecticut broadleaf is just so defined. Yeah, I mean, I'm real. I'm just starting the last third. It's pouring smoke. Um, fully recommend. If I could buy a whole box of these, I would. Yep. Uh, um, I don't mean to be cutting everybody off here. Um, I want to give a yell out to uh, Pete. Big Ooh, Pete. I call Big, him Big Pete. Pete. Uh, Big Pete. He uh, gifted us all cigars here. The Capper Special. Our uh, four kicks for you, Tim. Uh, thank you so much, Pete, for being a loyal listener, A, number one. And, and, and the true uh, cigar brotherhood that what it's all about. He sees me on a daily basis, and I love seeing him. He brings a lot to the table. He has probably grown quicker in cigars and what he smokes than probably anyone I know. He's just really, really oh, he, he loves it. He just loves listening to the show. You can tell he's very passionate about yeah, it. Yeah, he, he is. It's just it's a fun thing to do, and I, and I can't wait to hook up Hi, with him. Hi, Pete. I chat with him all yeah. the time on Facebook. Yep. So, so i got to um, start doing I that with him. I appreciate it, brother. Yep. So anyway, back appreciate to us. Thanks, Pete. Yep. So, and Adam. Uh, Tim, go ahead, Tim. Uh, speaking of Yahe, I smoke the Late Harvest 550. This is the Robusto from 2012. Uh, released maybe six weeks ago now, mm-hmm. uh, if that. Uh, I had good construction and draw, but this one, uh, the flavor profile just didn't fit me. Oh, um, I agree. <laughs> right on, Tim. I, I, I got well, these ones you were smoking in the shop. No, that was, the, believe it, that was, excuse me, was Tim. I don't mean years. to cut you. Yeah, we'll get yeah. back to Tim right away. 2011. Back to you, okay. Tim. I, I smoked it while working around the yard with my buddy. Um, I didn't even rate it because honestly, the flavor profile just doesn't fit what I like. Oh, um, it might fit some people, so I say grab one and smoke it for yourself. Yeah, you may exactly. like it. Exactly. I I, I, um, done it. I couldn't I couldn't go through the whole cigar. Yeah, honestly, I got halfway through it. Uh, um, you went farther than I did. I, I mean, I got a lot of wood, a lot of leather, some spice, but I don't know what it was, man. Maybe it wasn't balanced. Maybe oh, uh, that's got to be it, Tim. Because I even got I, I you probably won't agree. I got like a sourness off it that I didn't like. It just destroyed yeah. my my right on. And the I'll tell you what, I'm not the only person because I smoked with a friend at lunch um, this week who also smoked it, and you could just see it on his face. He mm. just was not impressed. Oh, I it. And um, poor guy, he he bought quite a few, so I think I think he stuck with him, but. Uh, um, not one of my favorite viajes. Yeah, He's Ben's going to chime show. in on this one also. Yeah. Go ahead, I, Ben. I had remembered that you said that you had smoked it at the convention, and you said that, that when was you last smoked year. it. Yeah, yeah well, oh, it's 2011. Phenomenal. You thought it was great, and then when it came in, yeah. we smoked it, and it was like, is this the same cigar? It, like, it, it, exactly. It just wasn't. But again, it, it, like I, I agree with Timmy's assessment. Go out there, try it, and if you like it, good for you. Um, while we're on the topic of Viaje, uh, Viaje oh. Exclusivo Tower Cigars releases the one that given to us by Ben. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm interested. Go ahead. I want to hear what you got. <clears throat> Great smoke, nice Viaje type flavors, earth, very smooth. I'd say fiver. Fi- okay. uh, fi- I agree with that assessment. Did you find a flat finish? Yeah, it was a yeah. yeah. There was a little. Bit, it, the last third of that cigar, uh, I, I like I said, the, the nice classic uh, Exclusivo type of yeah. flavor to it. The last third I found okay. Yeah. Yeah, like I wasn't jumping up and down when I finished no, it, like no. excited yeah, about it. I think it was um, done good, but um, 
Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Uh, Tim, you want to go back to you? So I smoked my last face um, from 2020, 2010, I believe yeah. it was, um, in preparation for the Little Monsters coming out. Uh, this is a 65 by 56 Perfecto. Supports a Mexican rapper, Nicaraguan binder, and mm -hmm. fillers. Um, still smoking well. I found it a little bit flat, though. Um, Paul. It's aging out? I don't know. You know, Paul and I were chatting, actually, while I was smoking it. Because um, we smoked this on the first show, Paul. Is that correct? Yeah, one of the first was, shows. Yeah, it was, it was like, like episode, episode one, one I believe. Well, um, uh, yeah, you guys were, were saying, I remember that. Yeah, go ahead, Tim. I remember that. Go ahead. And we, we absolutely loved it. Right. I, I don't know, man. It seemed a little flat to me this time around. It might have been my palate. Um, Paul and I were chatting. He said that Mark Jr. thought they were still smoking great. I guess so I can't say for sure, but um, if you have them, I'm going to say try one. because well, I think it's always good to go back and smoke them as they age. If you have uh, yeah, enough of them to do that age, with. Yeah. Uh, what we're going to do know. for our uh, August show that we have planned, I'm gonna, we're going to have to redo the Barkley Rex. Yes. Ooh. Okay. Okay, we're going to have to see how that. that's aged, and I agree. Yeah, I, I think that'd be a, uh, a nice little uh, thing to whip out. So I, I, well, that's, I really, that's what, a year and a half old now, yeah, right? Yeah, all of that. And then, uh, Tim, um, or everybody at the, uh, at the table here, uh, the Mexican project that Pete put out, uh, yep. is, uh, what's your assessment on that? I, I liked it. Mm -hmm. um, I think the first third is where it really shines. Oh, I agree. Um, I agree. I think the last third was a little flat. Yep. Um, Good call. I've only smoked the Toro. I haven't smoked the Robusto. Yeah. I, I supposedly have Robustos coming. Thank you, Big Al. He's mm -hmm. the one that hooked me up with those. Um, Big Al. But um, I did enjoy it. I, I'd like to see something production come out of it. Because mm -hmm. I, I think there's something there. But well, there's no doubt. I haven't smoked mine yet. I've heard kind of mixed reviews about yeah. it. It's a, it, it, you know, it's a $7 cigar, and it's... it's, exactly. it's it's a good value. You know what I mean? Again, back to the money, the value point. Now, Tim, did you do the 184 that uh, that that uh, uh, you happen to get from me uh, in Big Al no. yet? Oh, I, I can't wait. I have not. I'm on vacation for the next 12 days. Starting oh, that, that will be at 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, so that's, that's on my That's going to be uh, right up on top of the list, no doubt oh, yeah. about it. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to that. Thank you, man. Yeah. Oh, please. <laughs> I spoke to Liga Underground Viva. Oh. I had Viva thumbs down. I didn't like it. I thought it was, I, I didn't like the flavors that much. Maybe I expected more. Um, it is more concentrated than the larger oh. ring, ring gauges. Mm -hmm. yep. I found it to be kind of unbalanced. Mm -hmm. uh, like I, it couldn't I, make up its mind what it wanted to do. I, I don't know, maybe it was a, a little fresh, maybe, eh, they had made product, mm -hmm. I, I don't know, I don't know. I, I would try another one. I, I don't want to base my assessment on just this one. Yeah, let, let, it, no, let it rest a little bit. I, I, I liked it so much more than the bigger rings. I, I do. I, I, it definitely is better than the, the larger rings. I mean, the larger rings tend to be very flat. Yeah. This one did have some character, but the character to me was unbalanced. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. I, no, that's like, I, 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 like the bait fish. Now, it's funny you said that. Everyone raved about that. I found that to be a good cigar. I really? Was, I, I found really? that. Yeah. I thought that was... Um, you had I, I almost got like a a coffee flavor or off that and, and it was okay. I I, I, I would I, I would still yeah, I got a lot of cocoa up front. Yeah, yeah. That. And, and, and and cocoa and the coffee whatever you want to go, which I definitely st still think it's a fiver. I think that's something down the road it's gonna be a lot better. I really do. I, I Oh don't no doubt. Yeah, yeah, I think that cigar is gonna be probably like um close to a box worthy cigar. I really do, but I didn't it's funny. I, I was opposite with the Corona Viva. I enjoyed that a little bit more than I did right. the, bait, the bait fish. But yeah, again, sure. that's what's arbitrary about cigars. Yeah. Now, I'm curious, Stokey said, did you smoke one of the new bait fish or one of the original releases for NHC? Uh, I didn't do the NHC one. No, I didn't do that one. You had the second release. Second release, yeah. correct. Interesting. So, it, 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 it's funny when you do that. That's like what, uh, get back, uh, real, real quick, the Fostos. I, I, I remember I was at the show. I, I, I it was part of the, we had to buy in like that. I didn't never like that cigar from the beginning. Everyone tried to say the T110. Now, the T110 in the original release was unbelievable. Second release was good. Third release wasn't as good. And it's funny on re-release cigars or, uh, I wouldn't say reproduction, but the releases can be different. There's no doubt in my mind. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to vary from year to year because yeah. of climate. Oh, because everything. The lack of rain, too much rain. Yeah. I mean, so. Uh, I had the... Uh, 
going back to La Aurora, Cien Años Robusto. This is a size we have not talked about on the show yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it has outstanding flavors. It's a much more concentrated uh, flavor profile of this blend. And so it's, I think if you look at the whole line, this one really stands out to me as being very different because it's such a smaller mm-hmm. in, in just the Robusto size. Um, I got a nice wood type flavor. I still can't place exactly what the flavor is in the San Años. Uh, There's I gotta, something, I, I, some I, I, nuance to that it buttery, that I can't pick up. Buttery, smooth flavor. Yeah. I, and I don't want to call it creamy. You yeah. say, what's the difference between creamy and buttery? But that that's the first thing that comes to my mind. I love I had that an en- smoke. It's an enjoyable cigar to taste and smoke. Oh, like, it is. I, I, I'm going to say one thing. Smooth. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's it's, it's very smooth. Very butter. smooth. I'm telling yeah. you. I loved every inch of it. I'd say box worthy. Oh. All the Agno Splend. Is, is yeah. there any one that you don't like? Uh, the Church Hill. Really? I never did the Church Hill. Yeah, it's not I good. I haven't done it either. Yeah. So That's no, the only so. one in that I size. Mean, I, I, just, I love the, the I haven't Cero. done the Corona, but I've done all the other yeah, ones. The Corona's so. really good. <laughs> yeah. So, yep. Tim, back to you. Uh, I did the Atoro Fuente Anejo number 77 Shock. Mm. Um, this is from the December 2011 release. Um, oh, that's a good release. Not my favorite uh, Vitola in this particular blend, but it's definitely solid. Um, Sunday night, I wanted to be something I knew I was going to disappoint, so I grabbed it. Um, still fantastic. Great end to my weekend. I say still box-worthy, in my opinion. And, and Tim, Uh-oh. I can't agree with you more. The 77 Shark is probably the most sought-after of all, all the Yin Yeah, I agree with that assessment a million percent because I, I, I'll, I'll go with the 50. I love the 50. And the oh, the Busto? Oh, oh yeah. isn't that isn't it killer? I love the fifty. Yeah, see, I, I disagree. I think the shark's the best size in the idea. Uh, see, I, I, I do. Now the two thousand ten, I didn't like, like it all. I should really? Smoke. What's that? I said Paul likes larger smokes. I mean, yeah, I, this I too. Just, I, I, I just I, found the seventy seven. It, it, it redeemed itself last year. Yeah, the two thousand ten was so tarry. Uh, the, the tar to it was just now, too see, much for me. You weren't here on the last show. I reviewed the 2010, mm-hmm. and I gave it the Oasis. Really? Hands down, wow. my favorite smoke of the week. I took like eight pictures of it. The ash mm-hmm. was like over oh, three oh. inches mm-hmm. long on it, and <clears throat> it was absolutely phenomenal. Mm-hmm. And I only smoked two of them, and I, was about to, and I had another one, and then Roy, I said, I tried it, and he did the same thing. And again, that's, what's, that's the whole thing about cigars. Yeah. That's where it go back to the initial statement Tim made in the beginning of the show. Even though we what we may say, don't let it hinder your uh, ability or not ability, but your thought of that cigar. Go out there if it's in- intriguing to you, still do it. Even though if you hear uh, whatever you want to do, but I agree with the seventy-seven with Timmy a hundred percent on that one. And I'll tell you what, man. If somebody hands me an anejo in any size, oh, it's I'm going excited. down. It's going. I'm down. excited. I it mean, really they're is. all yeah. solid. It's, it's really a matter. And of they problem. age just. Unbelievable. Now, Tim, do, do you, you haven't smoked the uh, Corona size I gave you yet, right? No, man. I'll tell you what. I'm looking forward to it. I'll, I'll do it on my vacation. Yeah. I'm off. For the next I had a few of those in my humidor, so we, I was curious to see what you thought of those. We're gonna have to do the 55. You ever see the 55? It mm-hmm. looks similar to the Shark. Okay. Interesting. Um, here's one where Stogie Santa and I had totally different experience on this cigar, and this is the Cohiba Siglo 2 from 2005. Oh. Now. I got some strong floral notes, which I really liked. I, I will agree. Oh, I didn't there mind some, that. I didn't mind that the strong, beginning. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, and I, mine finished off as a much deeper and rich, almost cocoa, I get. And I just love this cigar. Mm-hmm. And everyone that I've smoked from this box has been a you know, similar experience. Floral notes up front. Oh, oh, no doubt. Goes to a nice, deep, rich flavor, which finishes almost with, almost with like a cocoa coffee finish for me. Mine was like, you ever, you ever do the dishes when, uh, with Dawn detergent? And you don't rinse off your glass. <laughs> mm. it, there was something wrong. It, it's not that it's you a had, You said you had something. a soapy taste. Yeah, and I passed oh, it over to Ben. Right. And Ben, I, I, because I just came off a, uh, a cold slash yeah. type of maybe, I don't know, if it, whatever I had, uh, allergies and whatnot. I, again, the first inch was floral and it was tasting good. And I just couldn't. And I said, Ben, do me a favor, please. Mm. I want to know if it's me. And Ben? If you didn't want to say soap and you wanted to use a better term like... Freshly uh, washed linen <laughs> would, would probably be the best term you could use Ooh, to describe this cigar. Exactly. I couldn't. I, I, I'm telling you, I text Paul when he told me the age. I couldn't believe it. I firmly believe it's not the cigar is bad. Something happened that was placed somewhere different because I never in 
25 years of smoking ever tasted anything like that? Anything? That's weird. It is. Isn't that bizarre? Yeah. And, and they weren't. It wasn't like it was stored next to Dawn dish soap or something no. or anything. Because like that. you gave me one of these before. Yeah. And it was phenomenal. Yeah. I liked it because it did transition. I said this, like you're talking about the beginning. You're talking about two cigars. Uh, a cigar beginning from the beginning and end, talking about totally two different. totally different. Because yeah. I lost all floral, I lost everything. Not that I wanted to lose it. That's right, not right. what I'm saying. Because it, it, remi- no, it reminded me of a little bit. It had even a little bit of citrus in it. Remind me just a tad of the uh, the inaugural 2009. Yeah, the citrus yeah, yeah, in yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Not it the floral, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. And it was a great. Cigar. I bought a box. Of these. I want to say I paid around twelve dollars a cigar for them. Oh, um, the way it smoked, it was all worth that. The yeah. first one you gave me, yeah. oh, all day long. That's yeah. why. I th- again, I thought you were playing. It must games. just been an inconsistency. No, no. I, there's no way. I, I, no? I'm sorry. There's no way. Not what that was in there. Something happened. Something there's, happened. There's, oh, this yeah. wasn't Mark one of was, your uh, problem sticks, was it, Paul? No, having, no. Like no. I said, I never had. I keep much of the Cubans in the kind of the same tray. And, yeah. Okay. Whatever. So. Mark was waiting for soap bubbles to come out. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I thought it was have a little one you pick out. I was gonna go. Like, Could have been bubbles. a little mold inside. Maybe? No. No. no, no was it mold? Was not, no. Mold didn't, didn't have that cardboard taste yeah. to it. No. Hmm. No, no. No. Anyway. Anyway. Tim, back to you. All right. Uh, I have the Emilio. Grimalkin Toro. Uh, okay. Have you guys smoked this yet? Or? Yeah, I had the uh, Robusto and Toro. I want to hear your assessment on this. Okay. So um, I like the flavor profile of the smoke, but three times now I've smoked this smoke, and all three times I've had construction issues. Yep. Uh, it, it, dead on. Dead um, on. First time it was so tight I couldn't quite get the flavors out of it. Mm-hmm. The last two times there were loose draws. Um, it was underfilled. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a nice balance of coffee, chalk, chocolate, um, something akin to a floral note on it. Mm. Um, I can't quite place the floral note. Mm. I say floral note because, uh, yeah, I couldn't quite place it. Yeah, it's not like it's not like you're smoking one of the Monte Carlos or the Cubans, but it's a different type of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 I, I agree, and it was underlying. Yeah, it was. I couldn't quite place. It, it. it was a nice backdrop to it, but I, I had the robust. I, the Toro, I gave up on because really? I did two of them that I couldn't even draw. And I was, yeah, I pitched it. I, I haven't, I, I haven't got time for that. The Robusto was okay, but it changed. The flavors changed so much because, I, I, again, uh, drawing on it, I just the construction issues were just too, too much for me to get through. Yeah, I mean the ones with the loose draw, I had a back off on, so they weren't burning hot. Mm-hmm. Once I did, I could get some of the flavors on, yep. but um, it was work to smoke it. Yep. I mean, it was. You don't want to have to work. I want to now. smoke one that's well constructed because I think there's something there. And, and but but on the, on the flip side of this, so we go one end where, where Timmy and I lay at. Uh, we have a friend of, at our shop who just he, he loves them. He just he, oh, he, I thought yeah. the price was a little high on. Oh, I agree. What's that's a good point. Uh, seven fifty for the robusto. <clears throat> excuse me, please, and seven seventy five for the toro, and I think way overpriced. Now, from what I heard, these are blended or rolled in my father's cigar factory. This is one hundred. Yes, yes, it is. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, I say check it out, see what you think. Oh, yourself. I agree. I agree. Um, I, I do think there's something there. I think the blend is solid. I think maybe just they need a little more quality control. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, I smoked an AF two. Okay. Yeah. Let's get the uh, bronze colored writing on yes. it. Yes. I thought it was okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it was good. It was, you know, had some nice flavors, but. Now that's blended by AJ Fernandez, I believe, correct? Yes. Yeah. It was a little unbalanced, I think. I, I just, I, I didn't, wasn't, Ben loves that, I think. I wasn't the one or the two. I, the one I thought was better. I, the one is the Maduro. You're right. And I think, Ben, I, I don't want to, I don't want to misquote Ben. So I wouldn't doubt if he thought the one was better. The two I just didn't like. I just didn't care for it. Yeah. I, I would agree with you, Stogie Sander. I like the one better. Yeah. Um, I thought it had a little bit better flavor, a little better balance. No. Um, yeah. No, I enjoyed it much more. But. Oh, let's talk about, uh, Tim, you, you and I both smoked uh, one, the Sabor Cubano. We did? We did. Okay. <laughs> that was the one, it was the one you sent me a messenger. Oh, today on? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You yeah. smoked that Torpedo? Yes. Okay. So it was a La Tradition Sabor Cubano. And I gave you one of these probably three years ago. You probably don't remember. No. Yeah, smoking it, but it wasn't very remember. Uh, uh, Couldn't have been. Yeah, yeah. It didn't, didn't leave a lasting impression. <laughs> um, 
These are like, I don't know, five or six dollars a smoke. It's a torpedo. Uh, comes from the La Tradition factory, obviously. And uh, I was just bored by it. It had been in my humidor for probably over three years. And uh, it comes with the cedar wrapping around it. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't bad. It wasn't lawn mulch. Um, no, but it wasn't agree. quite fiver either. It was like, oh, maybe middle, try huh? one. Yeah, the Tim, you said kind of angler. Um, I did. I, 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 you know, I spent nine hours at the Jeep dealer yesterday um, negotiating a price on a new car for my wife. Mm-hmm. Um, came home. I wanted to smoke something, but I didn't want to think about it. This hit the spot. I mean, yeah. it's exactly what that was. I mean, it was enjoyable. It's something you didn't have to think about. I, I would do it again while working around the yard. Yeah, like know. I wouldn't put it down because it was bad or anything. But exactly. So I would say, yeah, you're terrible. right. It's an angler. Yeah. Um, I sat on the deck talking to my wife about you know what she was looking for and you know what we were talking about at the Jeep dealer and I mean I mean it wasn't terrible. Um, yeah. Not one of the worst smokes you gave me last week, Paul. Uh, oh, what, <laughs> I, have what few, the- I have a few of those on my list. So. All right. All right. Well, uh, let's. Uh, so I guess we'll transition to uh, Tatawahe Kappa Especial, the NHC. Oh, okay. this was just outstanding. Uh, nice, this wood type flavor that was very, very prominent. Yep. Simply enjoyable, almost irresistible taste yep. and smoke. Mm-hmm. Loved every inch of this cigar. Uh, it's a winner for sure. Uh, Box worthy, mm-hmm. in my opinion, yep. hands down. I, I have to say that if you factor price in, I'm. I don't think these are overly expensive. This is my pick of the week. Absolutely. Mm. This is my smoke of the week. I just enjoyed every inch of this cigar. And Now, uh, that was gifted to us by Ben. By Ben, yeah. Yep. Uh, from Nice Sight Ash. Yep. Um, I got a lot more spice off of it than I did the seventh capper. Would you agree? Or? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, seventh capper, you have to look for the spice. You know what I mean? You search for it and it's there. This one, yeah. Um, I enjoyed it though, mm. and just to give everybody a heads up, NHC re-released these this week. Oh, they did. Yes, they're available. Oh, that's the one that um, Big Pete, Big Pete gave me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah so, and I thought the, oh, the uh, this original one was just it, it, it's it, special. It, I think it's very special. Yep. Yeah, it, it, very it stands cool. out over all these other uh, a lot of the other smokes that we've been talking about, in my opinion. So go seek right. some out. New, uh, any what is their website? NHC. It's New Havana Cigars. New Havana yeah. Cigars. Yeah. Go mm-hmm. get some. Good stuff. Damn Good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cheap. Tim, so uh, I guess we're on to some of the ones you did not enjoy so much. Yeah, week. so Stogie Santa, from what I heard, recommended that we smoke some um, cigars that weren't in our Yeah, no, I didn't want to give everyone and say these are lawn mulch because I didn't want to, like, <laughs> siege with them, but I kind of gave you the heads up, like, if you had yeah. to, like, if I was a betting man and I had to bet which cigars you, you, everyone might rate as lawn mulch, there were some in there. Now, I also gifted some fabulous Val, smokes, too, to, no to make up, but I wanted to make I up mean, for the fact that no, it's a great, it's a yeah, great balance. Yeah, so. Um, well, this one was definitely lawn mulch. Um, I'm a fan of Padilla, but this is not one of them. Um, this was the Limitada 2006, um, and I wrote, sometimes too much of something can be a bad thing. Um, there was a lot of rich, dark flavors, um, leather, espresso, pepper, no balance to the cigar whatsoever. Mm. Um, it was just so much in your face. You didn't know which way it was going. Um, no smoothness. Um, I had a void on the second half, so I couldn't even finish it. Um, honestly, I didn't even want to finish it. Um, <laughs> Lawn mulch. Uh, I I really wasn't impressed with the smoke. Uh, yeah, now the one I had was uh, was so plugged that it, you couldn't even even think about <laughs> trying to rescue it. I, I mean, really, it, it's one of those smokes where I get the feeling that they were going for all these strong, bold flavors that some people like, and I, I get that. But if you, if you're not gonna have balance or smoothness, it, it's just not good, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is my opinion. What do I know? They take it for what it's worth, you know. Um, and and you had another one on your on your list, Tim. Yes, the Silverdale. Thank you, Paul. Uh, so I was buying some premium smokes at another uh, store locally that will remain nameless. Okay. And they recommended this one to me as a, a less expensive alternative to some of the premium smokes I was buying. Okay. Just to preface the story. Mm. I will quote my wife on this while smoking it. And I was probably maybe a half inch into it. She said to me, I don't know what a flaming bag of poo smells like, but I imagine 
that smoke is exactly what it would smell like. Wow. wow. Unfortunately, the flavors matched her assessment, and I put it out about maybe an inch into it. Really? Uh, that bad, yeah. huh? Yeah, it was bad. It was bad, dude. Um, I mean, I try to give every stick a chance, you know? Um, but yeah, not smokable. Um, I mean, was it like musty or bitter or? Uh, yeah, both, <laughs> to be quite honest with you, you know? Um, to sum it up, yeah, both. Um, a lot of bitterness. Um, I mean, the burn and draw are good, if you want to look at a positive on something. Right, right. Um, After an inch? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 it better. I, 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 I chucked it, man. I didn't even want to put it on my ashtray. I chucked it. I mean, um, sorry, Silverdale. Uh, you know? Uh, I, I'd, I'd revisit. Maybe it was just the stick. It's one smoke, but... Right. Um, Probably no one will be revisiting <laughs> after uh, that assessment. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Dog poop. Be really, really drunk, maybe. You yeah. know? <laughs> <laughs> Dog poop is not a quality we look for in cigars. Uh, I smoked uh, an Opus, S Ri Opus X Rising from 2009. Uh, little information really exists about this cigar. I didn't find any reviews on it. Um, it it's a strong candidate from some of the better stuff that Opus X have to offer. Love the spice, leather, the whole smoking experience. Uh, a little hint of sweetness, not as much as some of the other uh, ones from the 2009 box, but it's a solid, solid offering, and I look forward to smoking the one from uh, 2010. Mm. So. And the, the one that caught me by surprise in the gift pack, believe it or not, hold on to your shorts on this one, was the uh, Olivia uh, Oliva Series G Maduro. I was... Really? Yes. Wait, was this the small little tiny one? No. Or was this a gigantic the, one? The, the, the long one. Yeah. Oh, so you smoked the Presidente. Yeah. Well, you can't really find that size anymore I, either. I, I, I'm going to tell you something. I've never so seen you it. Did, so you smoked an Oliva Series G Presidente, which yeah. is like a 9 Yo, by... I, I didn't finish the whole thing. 51, with it was gigantic. Yes. yes. Surprisingly good. Really? So, yeah, I mean, I'll tell you what. It's probably a bargain because anything with Series G and Oliva is usually yeah. in the... Four and a half to probably that cigar. You're yeah. probably looking at like six ninety nine. It's Maduro Not, wrapper. Maduro, Maduro wrapper. It was it was decent. It was it had a nice little toasty flavor, a mm, little bit of spice. Uh, it got a little boring here and there, but I mean overall, to be honest with you, I wouldn't. Uh, in the angle, I, I I looked at. It, I said, "This is not going to go yeah. good." <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I said, "You know, okay, open your mind." Yeah, surprised. No oh, good. Surprised. Good. You know, so that had some age on it too. I yeah. mean, that's oh, been yeah. kicking oh, around. I, I, my, yeah. I, I would. I would. I smoke it again. The only thing that would would deter me is the size. So I was. I. I and here I. I've never seen that in the, in the, in the store. So that's yeah, gonna like be, that's going to be some serious. Paul, did you give me one of those too? I, I think I, 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 think, I think almost everyone got one of those. I was yeah, surprised. I still have it in my human. Yeah. So that okay. would, that caught me by total. So of all the cigars that I expected yeah. to be the worst was going to be that one, and it wasn't. It's I'll far, tell you what, far though, it appears to be well constructed. Oh, I mean. the construction! Yeah, I'm going to tell you something. I had like a three inch ash on that. Never really? had a real. Yeah, never now, had a real. Now, where do you smoke it? You smoke it in the lounge or at home? Oh, I, I I don't smoke at the lounge that much. Um, I really I, at home. It's just like I like smoking at home. It's nice. my my thing. Nice, Tim. All right, so I had a Camacho Diploma. Uh, this was a Robusto. Maybe you guys could help me out. I yeah. could have sworn they used to make these in two or three different wrappers. However, after surfing no, this site, no, the Diploma is one, only one that I okay. know of. So one of the original diplomas I had, and I look back because I had it in my show notes for for Stogie Geeks, had a Maduro band on it, and this one did not. Mm -hmm. And it appeared to be lighter in wrapper color, so that's why I kind of questioned it. Um, honestly, it's a great smoke, regardless. Um, I enjoyed it. Um, I recall liking it better the last time I smoked it, but again, I thought it was a darker wrapper. It had a Maduro label on a second band, if you will. Um, mm. I see the fiver. Um, Paul, you gave me this. I think it had some age on it, correct? Yeah, it was either one that uh, Stogus Santos was closing out or one that I picked up a long time ago from uh, online. Yeah. So. I mean, not a bad smoke. Um, mm. Very enjoyable. I'd smoke it again. So Nice. Very nice. There you go. I smoked a Davidoff Millennium Pyramid. Nice, smooth smoke. Not heavy earth or spice or you know a lot of these other flavors that we get. It's more of a light floral and kind of woody... Uh, type flavor. 
I think it's a good change of pace. Uh, price wise, I don't really think it's worth the eighteen to twenty dollar price tag. It's a fiver for sure. It's maybe too expensive for box where they I mean they come in boxes of ten. Or if you smoke the Colorado Claro, mm. whether it's aged or not, I mean, that's box-worthy for sure. Uh, and those come in boxes at 10, and I think that the, mm. the price is probably about the same, and the Colorado Claro wrapper gives off so much more flavor uh, than even the regular Millennium blend. Certainly, you know, fresh out of the box kind of thing. So, Just got to be careful of that last inch. On that yeah, they, they tend to not finish mm. most Davidoffs. I, I'll, I'll tell yeah. you, what I had over the week, uh, last weekend was uh, they were released by mistake at a, a certain smoke shop, and um, he didn't realize what he had. And this is a really great one. Well, my favorite chisel of all of them. It's a Colorado Oscoto LFD, mm -hmm. the chisel. What an absolute, that, that cigar, remember that cigar. Mm -hmm. That blend itself is really good. And the chisel I found was, it was a little powerhouse. It was really, really a nice cigar. I got that from the LFD rep. And by mistake, they sent out, I believe, maybe, uh, I don't know, not that many boxes to a certain establishment. He didn't even know what he had. And I was mentioned to the, to the rep, John. And, and I tell you what, this, this cigar is going to be, I can't wait. That's going to be on the order. That, I meant to mention that. That cigar is absolutely delicious. Colorado Oscar Oscar's chisel. Oscar's, yep. They, they came out with a fifth. 52, 54, and 56 last year, mm -hmm. and they blew right out. And they never expected the response. And we were supposed to have those again in the, in the spring and then push back to the summer. Again, they're going to hold it out to the show. The, 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 the cigar itself, when I say the show, you know, down in Orlando, the, uh, the cigar itself is just a great line because LFD, I'm just a cabinet fan. I'm not really big on the 700s or the 500s, but the cabinet series is my favorite series of, of that cigar. Now, is bypassed by that Colorado Oscoro. Did a great job. Excellent. Nice. Tim? Uh, another one you gave me, Paul. The Guillermo, uh, sorry, Guillermo Leon Signature Corona Gordo. Yeah. Um, I wrote, well constructed, yeah. perfect draw. This stick offered up a nice balance of pepper, wood, nut, and some sweetness. Um, pepper was stronger on the first third, but settled down as it progressed. Um, very complex. One of those smokes where I want to smoke it again and really concentrate on it, because um, I think there's a lot there, but you really have to focus on it. Um, I'm going to say Fiverr, but I want to smoke it again. Um, that was kind of my assessment, too. I definitely got that nutty flavor. Yeah. I thought it was very good, um, but you're right. There was kind of some nuances that if you weren't really paying attention, you could definitely miss. Yeah, yeah, it was... Um, yeah, I'm definitely going to revisit. I, I think there's something there. But anyways, I picked up those pretty up. cheap on auction, too. So Did you really? Yeah. yeah. It's a solid offering that I think um, a lot of the local B&Ms won't necessarily carry. You can find them a lot online. Um, mm -hmm. which, and I don't understand why, because I, I think it's a, it is a solid offering. Now, he works for La Laro Roar. Yeah, Guillermo, right. Le Guillermo yeah. Leon is the, uh, one of the, uh, the master blenders, mm -hmm. right. I would say, right, for La Aurora. Yes. Correct. So this is one of his own blends. That his he did personal his blend, own. yes. Yeah. Now, I'm curious. Now, one cigar I'm starting to like more and more, and it's growing on me immensely, especially in the morning with a cup of coffee. I, the Rosado Sun Grown by Fuentes. Okay. Um, creamy. Uh, Well-balanced. Uh, is that like an 858? Or? No, no, no. no. Okay. It's not. It, nope, it's not 858. It's not. It's totally different. It's, it's a high-priming uh leaf on this risotto then you can't there's another one paper thin leaf but it's just so balanced not uh, the strength on it i because of our palace being a little on the heavier side i call it a mild they call it a medium whatever whatever you want to call it but the creaminess off the cigar in the morning with black coffee i'm telling you uh right now that is my morning smoke it's really nice. they come in nice. 56 54 and there's a uh 50. I'm not, I'm not, don't hold me to that. But anyway, try that smoke. They're not that bad price. I think the highest one being the 50, 50, 56 is like seven ninety nine. Uh, it's really, it's, it's really different for Fuente. It really is. It, it's, you know, Fuente's line has such good smokes, but give that a whirl. If you really want a nice morning smoke, that's going to be, that's mine right at this moment. Really quick. How's your unbanded finishing up? Mm. 
Just okay. Yeah, mine's kind of just okay yeah. finish. Yeah, yeah there's some enjoyable flavors oh, there in the finish. It, it, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I I didn't go as far down as you two gentlemen. I just yeah, it's a little deeper in rich. Now it's starting to burn a little hot. Mm. Yeah, That's what mine. It's it's picking up a little bit. Yeah, the, oh, it's yeah. picking up a little strength. Yo, too. Oh, yeah. no doubt. Yeah, but it just uh, yeah. I would say my best guess would be that if I had to guess where the cigar came from, I would say it comes from the Don Pepin. It's not a don- it might not be a dumping, but it's from that factory. factory. Okay. I think the construction. <laughs> we'll finish up our cigars uh, of the weeks, and uh, then we'll do the reveal. I smoked a Padron 45th Anniversary Maduro on Father's Day. Oh. Yes, yeah, it's, I mean, <laughs> subtle <laughs> changes of spice, a little pepper, cocoa undertones. Yep. Not as good as, I, I don't know, not as good as I remember. Maybe it was a little more... Had a little more in-your-face flavors, yes. and they're kind of mellowing out with a little bit of age. Mm-hmm. You still have to have a box of these bad boys. Oh, um, expensive box, yeah. but oh well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So go for that. Uh, also in the higher price range, Davidoff Selection 702. I have to say, this was an awesome, awesome smoke. I mean, this is probably of my list. Um, you know, pricing is a factor uh, for the tops on my list. This has to be number two right up there with the Opus X Lost City Robusto. What a fantastic smoke. Uh, this is like a Toro size. Lots of changes. Not your, again, it's a Davidoff, so it's not your typical really deep, rich kind of flavors. It's more of a, a lighter kind of smoke. A lot of nuances. Tough to place all the flavors. I, I mean, I wish I had at least five. At $20 a stick, it's really steep. I still think it's worth five. These are from 2009, so age is definitely playing a factor here. But it was an unbelievable smoking experience on this Davidoff. Um, I smoked one a couple of years ago, uh, maybe over a little over a year ago, and, and I mean it was good, but it wasn't as good as they are now. So I'd say if you have these, to me of the two that I smoke, now is the time to be smoking them. And I just bought two from a mm-hmm. from a local shop because they had them. And uh, like I said, first one good, second one outstanding, wow. outstanding. No, I'm gonna a little yellow. I didn't do it yet. The Trumpito, I've heard yeah. such. I, uh, I I have. That's the Avo limited edition for uh, 20, uh, 2012. 2012. It looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool. Now, from, again, quoting Half Wheel, uh, the only one that gave it a, a really high rating of all of all the sites was Cigar Coop. And interesting enough, a uh, now Cigar Aficionado, which never, uh, you know, uh, whatever. Whatever, whatever, right. Take it for what it is. Yeah. Did you read the review on that? No, no I have not. No, it said... Good looking cigar wrapper started off kind of nice. Oh, I forgot, don't quote. Like, I didn't smoke the cigar, we'll say leathery, but finished up with a wet cardboard taste. Ooh, Ooh. that's the kiss of death. Well, right, right. So, I had a, uh, a friend of ours, uh, Joe, came in. Um, he goes to uh, a local uh, establishment to smoke, he has a locker down there. And that day was like, you know, they were pushing the Trumpedo because of the price and whatnot. Yeah. He said he never, he'll never, never smoke that Avo again. He really? Said, really? Because wow. he said, you know, you told me about the Avo. I wanted to do, I told him the 85th is absolutely oh, delicious. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. So I mean, after have you tried it? What I'm trying to say, if anyone tried it, Ben, no. uh, right. Paul, Tim, I heard those it's bad things good. about it. I haven't even bothered. No. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not a cheap stick. You're talking $16 mm-hmm. and change or pop. So. Right. Yep. I mean, Tim, back to you. All right. Anyways, moving on. Ashton um, smoked a couple of Ashtons this past couple of weeks. Uh, first one on the list is the Heritage Pure Soul. <laughs> I put from 2005 because we know Stogie Center. Oh, these it's six all of that. I, a minimum, if not for, yeah. further back. Um, Stogie Santa found more of these lying around. I bought every single last one of them last time I was down. Um, this particular one, no offense, Stogie Santa seemed a little bit off. Okay. Uh, I got some bitterness on it. Uh, I'm not sure if maybe it's in a sick period because the last couple times I smoked this smoke, it was incredible. Um, oh, a sick period happens very early on in the tobacco's age. So Does it? I, I don't know. Um, maybe it was just off this particular stick. I have several more. And I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to taking them down um, because the three or four I have smoked before this have been absolutely incredible. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, this one, it wasn't terrible, but it was off. Um, I don't know. It is what it is. Um, I still say box worthy based on my previous experience, um, especially with the age. Mm -hmm. So I smoked a a Paul Gamarian Symphony 20th Toro. 
flavors are amazing. I can't get over the strength. I had to say, I had some nicotine sickness from this one. It was so strong. Wow. It seems like it was. Like, this one's getting stronger. It, it did seem a little wet, and I had a tough time keeping it uh, lit, but it, just a solid offering oh, from Paul. I mean, everything, his, his everything. Symphony. Now, the Salamon for me, every single one of these I smoked, probably half a dozen at this point, is box worthy, hands down. I smoked one of those on Father's Day, too. I, and I don't want more. I need more yes. of those. Symphony Salamon is, I think, hands down my favorite Paul Camarion. Mm-hmm. Just the whole smoking experience, flavors, everything about the cigar is just unbelievably good. Mm-hmm. Got Got to have that smoke. Um, the Symphony Toro, again, uh, had a tough time keeping it lit, and uh, it, it was a little on the strong side. That's still, a mm-hmm. still. Yep, Symphony anything from Camarion, winner. Yeah, his Robusto is a killer. Yeah, killer. I love winners. Robusto, All winners. Oh, man. I don't, oh, think, yeah. I don't think you can go wrong with the Symphony line. Mm-hmm. I think, I think mm-hmm. it, yeah. it does a really great job. And that's where, talking to Paul, being a musician, that's what he called. That's his life of the cigar. And I can't wait. He's supposedly going to send us a, uh, a little shout-out about his new uh, line of cigars. I can't say much. He told me not to say anything, and I Excellent. can't wait. That's going to be great. Okay. I also smoked a La Flor Dominicana, Connecticut. This is the one that comes in that, we'll call it the crappy lighter gift yeah. set. It had a nice buttery flavor, uh, a bready buttery flavor. Good smoke. Grab a gift set or two. You know, they're worth it. Mm-hmm. Tim? So, Ashton VSG, have you guys smoked the VSG that Ben sent you yet? I didn't get a VSG. You didn't get a VSG? Oh, wow. oh yes, I did. He, uh, that's the uh, Robusto. That's yes. the one. Yes. Yeah, I, I've had those. I felt, I felt bad because I have a lot of those aged ones like that. Yeah. Isn't that a great smoke? It's seven years old. Yeah, what it's phenomenal. Um, it, it, I smoked it Father's Day morning with a mm-hmm. cup of coffee. You guys know me, my coffee and my VSG, mm-hmm. especially if it's aged. Fantastic yep. model. Thank you, Ben. Yep. Um, nice. It really was the highlight of my Father's Day. Um, oh, it is. And VSGs like that, and and they're not they're nowhere as good as they are before. I'm sorry. I think Ben will uh, attest to that. Yeah, I, I don't know if it's you know the age or the blend or whatever it is, mm-hmm. but. Yeah, the age ones. Oof, wow, um, nice. fully recommend if you come across them with some age on them, get them. So, well, and I have some left, like probably like three to four years old at the store, but the corner gorgeous. That's all yeah. we have left, wow. on aged ones. And nice. oh, and the spellbound. Oh, we already did that. Spellbound or wizard or no, spellbound, spellbound is the double corona. The double corona. Yeah, yeah, remember good. that? Those yeah, were that really. <laughs> I smoked an uh, EP Carrillo Limitada 2010 Dark Ritual. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, how's fan. that smoking, man? Oh, oh. I, I mean, so what aged it to this? That's the burning question in everyone's mind. Is it smoothed it out a little bit? It's nice. Just, it's a very very nice smooth smoke. Excellent flavors. A box worthy hands down. By the Dark Ritual. Right. Now we that was the uh, Stogie of the Week episode two, I believe. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and that thing wowed me when I yeah. smoked it fresh. Yeah. So and I like can't. I said, oh yeah, it's, an it's got a little more cigar. Got a little more smoothness on it now, and I tell you, that's the same. You're gonna thing go back happened. and smoke it and be like, oh. Same thing with a small batch number three LG. That came out. That come out of the box swinging and and, and just really a strong cigar. And right now the four is nowhere as good as what I thought it was gonna be. But again. That's what he said about the three, and I, I'm. Uh, it's still, okay. four is still young, though, right? Oh, it's absolutely! Much, Give us yeah. some time. Totally, totally different yeah. blend. Tim, why don't you uh, round it out with your last two? Uh, well, we already talked about the uh, La Tradition Cubana. Okay. Um, so the last one on my list is a Nueva 2009 Reserva. Um, <laughs> I smoked this on the show during our Epic Spokes episode a few episodes back um no difference i finished my father's day off with a smoke i wanted to smoke i knew it was going to be great i didn't have a lot of time it was great borders on the oasis for me um very few of these things are around if you come across the noea 2009 reserver buy them um incredible um i think you know now were these broadleaf too or? yes yeah I, I thought so i mean you think pete johnson you think broadleaf this sums it up right yeah, here yeah oh they it's it's just uh, i mean really um this is the only one i had left and i wish i had more that's all i can say so 
Uh, very nice. I am holding up the envelope for cigar number one, which we will reveal now. How did it finish out for everyone? Still pretty good? Just okay? It's, it, it's good. It's yeah. good smoke. A- anyone want to venture a guess as I... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I have no clue because I haven't smoked it, so... Uh. I'm ripping the envelope <laughs> here. What do you think, Paul? I have no idea what this is. Uh, I, no I, it idea. It reminds me of a jalapa uh, type of cigar uh, blend in there. That's what I'm going to say. I'm, I'm curious there's a jalapa uh, in there. You know, I was more advantageous to guess... It's a crinkle. More advantageous to guess when I was kind of along the same lines in guessing almost correctly until I guessed completely wrong, and now I'm kind of gun shy about guessing. It kind of like yeah. threw me through a yeah. loop. Uh, the last one. So, um, I, I am going to say before I look at the, I have not looked at the. Oh my God! It's all kinds of bands. I guess we'll just have to. Uh, all kinds of bands. My father, Le Bijou Corona Gorda All Special right. Edition. Nice go. job, yep, Mr. Man. Ben. The wrapper is a Nicaraguan Habano Oscuro. The binder is Nicaraguan. The filler is Nicaraguan. This is an original exclusive to Puffin Stuff in Atlanta last year. Mm-hmm. There was a release in January that my father sold to Federal as well. Other Puffin Stuff blends have included the uh, Don Pepin Garcia Blue Lancero and the LFD Cameroon Lancero. We can only hope that Al, the owner of Puffin Stuff, will offer something up this year. This is the original release and has a year of age. In the January re-release, the binder was changed due to lack of product, which brought out an earthier flavor. There was a more powerful blend than the original MFLB. The wrapper, according to Al, the owner of Puffin Stuff, and the blender is a better quality as, le- as well. The original release, there were 300 boxes of 23, each signed and numbered by Jaime Garcia. The release, uh, re-release, there was 100 boxes sent to Puffin Stuff and an unknown amount to Federal that were not signed. These are all gone, although Federal may have a few lingering. The size is supposed to be addition to their regular line, but uh, he's unsure as to whether or not uh, this will be in the blend. So, Awesome. Thank you, Adam. We, Thank have, you. Uh, we have all the bands here for the, the beautiful My Father bands. They yes. make some of the, the nicest bands. They, so, do. they do. Yeah, That is the band. Very nice. I'm not a big My Father fan, but that one, uh, that one was pretty good. Yeah, it was. The, yeah. the, the spice too, because because the way it dissipated so much. So that's why I, not to jump on Ben's band, uh, bandwagon. Good job, Ben. It just the 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 spice dissipated too quickly for me. You know what I mean? The thing. Yeah, I would have that spice would have would have stuck there yeah, for a while. Right. The only thing that that made me think it was from that factory was the construction. Like mm. I saw that construction, and I was like triple cap. Their construction is very, really yeah. not, done that, that very factor, well. Yeah, it, it reminded me of that. Uh, uh, yeah, unfortunately, of late, though, they're making so many cigars for so many people. Mm. Uh, it's starting to waver just a little bit. Just a little bit. I do want to note that I don't think that smoke has much of an effect on bugs. No. If people yeah, say that when you're smoking a cigar, like, oh, the bugs are going to stay. No, I don't agree. I'll tell you what. I moved to my back deck because of the connection problems. I'm getting eaten alive. I need to grab another cigar because... Yeah. <laughs> So you think it does have some impact? Well, oh, we'll, yeah. We'll oh, debate yeah. that. Until my Frank went out, I was fine. Now okay. that Frank went out, um, I'm being eaten alive. So. All righty. We'll come back with our segment on budget-friendly smokes after this short break. <laughs> 